May we never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the word of the cross is the power of God to us who have been saved. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose to manifest the blessed hope of your eternal kingdom by the toil of Saints John de Brebeuf, Isaac Jogues, and their companions, and by the shedding of their blood, graciously grant that through their intercession the faith of Christians may be strengthened day by day. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you once lived following the age of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the desires of our flesh, following the wishes of the flesh and the impulses, and we were by nature children of wrath like the rest. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of the great love he had for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ. By grace you have been saved, raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from you, it is the gift of God. It is not from works, so no one may boast. For we are his handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for good works, that God has prepared in advance, that we should live in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord made us, we belong to him. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. We are, we are his people, the flock he tends. The Lord made us to belong to him. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. The Lord made us to belong to him. Give thanks to him. Bless his name, for he is good. 
the Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, One's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do? For I do not have space to store my harvest. And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods, and I shall say to myself, Now as for you, You have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this night your life will be demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus will it be for the one who stores up treasure for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. The Gospel of the Lord. God says, the things that you have prepared, to whom will they belong? It's a question about what we're leaving behind us as a legacy. We're celebrating today uh, the Feast of St. Isaac Jogues and Companions. They're called the North American Martyrs. I think that today is a feast day in our diocese. I think Bishop Ed did that a couple of years ago. Uh, and St. Jo- Isaac Jogues was martyred in Orysville, not that far away from here. And one of the most beautiful parts of the story of Isaac Jogues in particular is that Isaac Jogues labored for years here in the Northeast trying to spread the gospel. And we remember him as this great saint. He's so heroic. He died. He was martyred. He was uh, incredible. Um, But that's not what his life looked like when he ended, when it ended, uh, because when his life uh, ended, no one had converted, or almost no one. We look back and see this heroic legacy, but all he could see was that he did not succeed. He died in 1646, and in 1656, in the town, almost on the spot, uh, where he was killed, St. Kateri Tekakwitha was born, uh, the first Native American saint, a saint from our diocese. Um, And I think it's a really good lesson to us, because a lot of the time, understandably, for good reason, we want to see results. We want to see that the work we're doing, or that the faith we have, is making something that we can demonstrate. And we can go, see, look, this happened, so I know that I have faith, or that God is at work. And sometimes we get that, and sometimes we don't. But it's a real grace that sometimes we don't see that happen, because it demonstrates for us exactly what St. Paul says to the Ephesians. For by grace you have been saved through faith. This is not from you. It is the gift of God. It is not from our works, so that no one can boast. St. Isaac Jogues spent a lot of the time uh, that he was in the forest in our area, um, kind of, I think, 
out of prayer and out of, maybe out of desperation, he would go around and carve the name of Jesus into trees. So if you go to the shrine in Orisville, you'll see that there are these little wooden placards with, that just say Jesus that are posted all over the church. Uh, and that's kind of a memorial of what Isaac Job spent his time doing in the woods. Um, and that's really what our mission is, sort of to go around life, go around the world, to interact with the people we see day to day, and kind of just leave the mark of Jesus there. And we can do that, we can trust uh, that that will in some way, even if we never see it, uh, leave its effect uh, because as we carve the name of Jesus, Scripture also tells us that our names are carved on his hands, uh, that God already knows us completely and thoroughly uh, and can make fruitful our little efforts uh, and uh, he, we know that he can make small things fruitful because of what he does to bread and wine in the Eucharist. We stand as we offer our prayers and our faith to the Lord. For the church throughout the world, especially for the Jesuit order, including Pope Francis, um, for their continued and renewed strength and vigor in proclaiming the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for all missionaries, uh, lay and religious, for their deepened courage and strength in offering people the good news, and we pray also for the openness of the hearts of the people to whom they're offering it. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for uh, all Native American Catholics and for all Native Americans in the U.S. in general uh, on this feast day. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for all in our community, especially those who are unseen, um, who feel abandoned or who are alone, uh, for them to receive the consolation and the support they need. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have died and those for whom this Mass is offered. For the intentions of Our Lady of Victory, Our Lady of the Snow, and Christ, Son of Justice. We pray to the Lord. And for your own intentions. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we ask you to hear these prayers of ours through the intercession of St. Isaac Jogues and his companions, uh, that we will know the fruitfulness of the cross and your work in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. As we venerate the passion of your martyrs, St. Isaac Jogues and companions, grant that through this sacrifice, O Lord, we may proclaim worthily the death of your only begotten Son, who, not content with encouraging the martyrs by word, strengthen them likewise by example, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, St. Isaac, Jogues, and companions, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, And before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by their cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, Take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my Heavenly Father, says the Lord.
Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by the example of blessed Isaac Jogues and companions, we may bear in our hearts the marks of your Son's charity and suffering, and ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank you for being here, and have a good day.